This week in the newest Black Clover manga chapter, Magna Swing continues to beat the brakes off of Dante Zagratis, the leader of the Dark Triad. And it's absolutely amazing to see a commoner with low magic going against likely Noble and Dante using the power of the Demon King Lucifero. And Magna is right now coming out ahead. What's great about this chapter is that it shows how Magna developed this amazing spell of Secret Flame Magic Soul Chain Deathmatch. So it's a great chapter overall, a very Magna centric chapter with a lot of good Zora bits as well. So overall, a great chapter. I'm going to give my review summary analysis of this chapter this week. And it's great to be back after having last week's chapter review off since there was no chapter. And so that being said, if you guys do end up enjoying this Black Clover chapter review, do leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications. And also, of course, guys, this will feature spoilers for the manga because this is the actual manga. So that being said, let's just get right into this review of the chapter. Now, the chapter is chapter 292 called To Know. And it goes back to a half a year ago, six months ago before the time skip. And it shows Magna begging to Zora, saying, please teach me your way of fighting. In the Heart Kingdom, I heard I can't fight using Mana Method because my magic power is too low. But you were able to pull it off, even if you're a peon just like me. So again, kind of confirms that Zora's arrays are essentially the same thing as Mana Method, or at least very similar, which is something I've been saying for a long time now, I believe over a year. Especially that thing where you pay back and double is amazing. You can fight even if your magic power is low. So Magna's talking about how Zora's traps, which double the power and speed of things that it gets trapped into, it is an amazing ability. And so Magna is begging him. He says, luck will get stronger. I just cannot fall behind him. Plus, I cannot be the burden for the Black Bulls. Now, what really I like about this is that Zora looks down upon Magna and he sees a low-class magic knight of fire magic. And that makes him think of his father, Zara, who was a low-class, low-rank magic knight of fire magic. And that essentially is what allows Zora to do this. And he says, I don't even want to see you kneeling. I'll teach you, so stop that. Magna's like, for real? And he says, doing things together might lead to a discovery, too. That's Zora thinks to himself. Zora says, follow me. I head to the forest. And Magna enters a dwelling. Zora says while laughing, it's my secret base. Now, I like it a lot. And I'm probably going to spend some time this weekend looking through all these different symbols, researching them, seeing if there's anything special or important at the bottom that snuck in here. But uh, you have what seems to be some sort of a chalkboard or you know, whiteboard with a bunch of different pieces of papers of symbols all around. There's scrolls everywhere. So this is Zora's secret base where he essentially probably develops his super secret magic abilities. So I'm really interested to see what also Zora will probably have learned in this six month time. Because right now it's Magna as the highlight, but I wouldn't be surprised if Zora, because of training with Magna, also learned something. And so this is probably the foreshadowing for Zora's new ability. And because this is what Zora says, doing things together might lead to a discovery. So I think that's what is, Tabata is foreshadowing for Zora is also gonna have something big. And Zora says, I'm looking forward to the strongest of me. As you know, I'm not using the true mana method, but as what I've heard, the heart kingdom creates mana method in an instant and combine it in a battle. For that fighting style, you'll need lots of magic power, sense, and adaptivity. As a low class who doesn't own any of those, I have to create a formula ahead of time, especially a strong magic like counter trap magic. But a low class has an advantage too. A mana method created with a weak magic power doesn't disappear and remain because it is too weak. Therefore, you can create an absurdly complicated formula by spending an extended amount of time. Now, I really actually like this explanation a lot. It is also an advantage for a low class when it comes to these sort of types of arrays, this type of mana method. It's different. And because they are weaker, the array lasts longer, and therefore they can make it a lot more complex and they can spend a lot more time on it. Zora says, but to do that, you need to know more about specific mana and humans. What you need to do is study modestly and solid effort. And we get a bunch of different bits of Magna training and learning and Zora kind of helping him along the way. And Magna's failing. And now Magna thinks, I use magic without thinking at all. But the more you know, the more profound the mana is. Magna's thinking to himself. So there is a compatibility with attributes too. It would be impossible for me to pay back by double. So Magna's saying it's impossible for him to do the counter trap magic where he just sends magic back at double the speed or strength. 
He says to win against a guy who has a tremendous amount of magic power, I won't lose with the compatibility. If this side adds that much amount of magic power too, then he rushes towards Zora with a formula. He says, Zora, big bro, how's a formula like this? He's like, who are you calling big bro? And Zora reads it over. He says, I never thought of it, that it wouldn't be impossible. He says, interesting. You'll need extraordinary time and patience to make it though. And it shows Magna doing just that. Working hard, sweating, blood, sweat, and tears, putting all his effort into this chain. And he says, my magic that can only be used once after preparing and making it for half a year. And Magna says, it's not that hard after all, huh? I connected you and me and divided the magic power equally. Now, this shows official confirmation, something that I talked about in my last chapter review. It essentially adds together the magic power of the two, then divides it by two. So it shows in here, Dante's a 1000, Magna's a two. Now, Dante's a 501, and Magna's a 501. And it's called Secret Flame Magic Soul Chain Deathmatch. And one thing that is a very important to me to be pointed out here is how much this soul is becoming more important in Black Clover. Remember, Zora just told Magna that he needs to essentially study and know more about specific types of mana and humans. We know the ultimate magic is tied to the soul. And now we have Magna using Secret Flame Magic, and it's called Soul Chain Death Match, and it even brings up more about the soul right here. Magna says, I'll give you one piece of advice. That chain is our soul itself. If you try to destroy it or pulled off by force, you'll go crazy, so be careful. So, another huge connection to the soul. This is a literal connection to the soul between the two now. So souls are becoming far more important in Black Clover. I wonder why there's probably going to be some sort of big huge thing coming up. Jack says, impossible. Peasants performing a magic like that? Zor says, it isn't impossible. Attacks from the outside will be a disturbance with the magic of Bet. So, just stay tuned. Zor says, this is now that guy's fight. And Magna punches Dante right in the gut. It damages him a lot, but Dante gets pissed and he activates gravity magic, heavy impact, and launches back at Magna. And then Magna says, wasn't I allowed to attack freely, Captain? And then Dante says, shut up, you filthy thief. And he activates gravity magic, presence of the demon king, one of the strongest spells that we've seen. Magna says, we have the same amount of magic power. I can endure it. So this was essentially, no matter what, yeah, Dante is in a high level of devil mana, but even though he activated presence of the demon king, Magna has the same amount of mana now because of his soul chain death match. And Magna just starts punching and punching and punching. And then Dante is just looking, he's laughing, and his body heals. As long as the regeneration of my body magic exists, you cannot defeat me in the end. Crawl to the floor with regret for not knowing your place, and Dante starts striking back at Magna. Zora is watching the battle, and is thinking to himself, You resisted and struggled, even if you crawl on the floor, and somehow prepared for today with the fire that only creates smoke. Even if the opponent is the head of the enemies, or a devil possessed, or an immortal, defeat them, Magna and ends with a massive punch from Magna with his fire brass knuckles, just knocking down Dante and essentially looking like Magna has now won the battle. The even ending narration is called Finish It, a Lily Peasant's Giant Killing. So yeah, Magna just essentially beat the brakes off of Dante. And honestly, with all this, it makes this even more of an amazing ability that Tabata has created. So I'll just say that I love the chapter, it was great, but I'm gonna talk now more to the nitty gritty details of what's going on. So Zora has helped Magna develop this skill of using the Soul Chain Deathmatch. And Magna worked on it for months and months and months. It's a spell that based on these translations, he can only use once. And it's essentially just an equalization spell. So. I remember seeing a lot of people on Twitter talking about how this is a huge ass pull for Magna, and even though that's not true because they just went through a six month time skip, they were training to specifically fight devils or devil possessed people. So Magna getting some crazy new ability is actually foreshadowed just by the fact of a time skip. And then we also was foreshadowed that Magna and Zora were training together as well. And you have this, and this is not an ass pull, and it's not even that broken of an ability. All it does is equalize him with somebody else. And also, it's a one-time use spell that he spent six months developing. That is not broken. There's a lot of drawbacks. From what is all described right now, this is something that Magna cannot spam. So it is overall a great balanced, great power that Tabata has put into the series from Magna. Now, honestly, one thing though that makes this a bit disappointing for me is if it's a one-time use spell, then... What you have here is Magna, essentially, um, what's he going to do after this? What's, his, what's he going to do? With the spell gone, sure, he'll probably be stronger just from the time skip itself and training for the six months, but his most 
OP and powerful ability now will likely be gone, or maybe he will have to develop it for another period of time. So, I wonder. Also, this spell is just overall balanced, because I remember talking about this. I can't remember if this is in the chapter review or if I was just talking about it on Twitter last from the last chapter review, but I said that Magna could just use this ability on Lucifero, cut Lucifero's power in half, he would be equal in power to Lucifero, and then have everybody gang up on Lucifero. Now, that seemed like an obvious way to defeat Lucifero, but I'm glad that Abada has put in these balances into this ability, so that this, even if Magna could use it again, it could not be used, because based on the way it's worded, it connects their souls, and that means that you can't have other magic interfere with it. So, it would still have to be a Magna versus Lucifero 1v1 with equal magic, and honestly, it's probably going to be Magna losing that one, even if they have equal magic power, just because of Lucifero's gravity magic and him using it probably way more spells than Dante has with it. So, it's way balanced. You couldn't just have Magna use it on Lucifero and have everybody gang up on Lucifero. It just wouldn't work, because that's not how this spell works. And even if it did work that way, well, um, Magna, based on this translation, can only use it once anyways, so... Great balance spell. Good job, Tabata. The silencing the haters of Black Clover saying that Magna just got an ass pull, broken ability when it is actually perfectly balanced. It's one of the most balanced spells in all of Black Clover, I would say. Only thing I would say is that I hope that Magna has something else up his sleeve. Or maybe he is wrong about this ability and maybe he doesn't he can't use it every time or even every day. But maybe every few days he can use this spell. So maybe he could use this spell like once per arc. And that would be like his big shining moment of each arc. As he goes against a big bad, activates the spell, equalizes them. That would be cool. Hopefully this is not just a one-time use. Because I really like the idea of it. And Magna using brass knuckles with a chain tied to each other's souls. It's just an absolute sight to see. So it does seem like that Dante might have been defeated. But then again, if his body magic regeneration is always working like that. Then you know, Magna might be really not looking great here, especially if nobody else can intervene. But I'm excited to see what happens next chapter. I wonder if this fight will continue, or if it will go to a different one, as it seems that Dante is at least maybe not defeated, but uh, he is not looking great. Now, one thing I want to say about Magna is people are wondering how, you know, they have equal magic power, but gravity should be above fire. And he also has body magic. Compare those two, Magna should still lose. But... We do have to remember that Magna, his actual physical strength is high for, like, characters. I believe he was on the physical strength ranking, ranking tier list that Tabata created. And also, if he has greater mana control than Dante, then he would be stronger because they have the same amount of magic. They have the exactly the same amount of magic, but Magna was, like, 50% better at controlling the mana, then he would be, like, 50% stronger just based on that, and he might have a physical strength advantage. So, I think that the way that Magna is winning here is skill mana control and physical strength despite dante having stronger magic types over fire with that being said let me know your guys thoughts of this chapter down below please leave a like comment and subscribe hope you guys all have an amazing day plus